Howdy campers and welcome back to your least boring summer ever. Right here at Camp Crunch Labs. I'm Mark Rober, and this is week nine of our supercharged summer camp experience. And this episode is actually in honor of the Vortex Cannon. Ooh. <laughs> That's physics right there. In this one, the physics principle we learn all about are vortices. All right, well, let's get right to our mega experiment. But first, we got to find out who our special guest is. Whoa. Jimmy Kimmel! Oh, hey, Mark. Wow. Wow. I was um, just driving my kids to tennis. I hope they're... <laughs> oh, no. I hope they're able to operate the vehicle. This is terrible news. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to wait to see what happens. Yeah, yeah, we'll read about it in the paper. Yeah. <laughs> Last time we were sitting like this, I was on your show. We first met eight years ago, maybe? It was on my show. You yeah, were on yeah. the show, and uh, you did an experiment. We did the automatic bullseye dartboard. Oh, yeah, that was good. Yeah. I don't know if I ever told you this, but in rehearsal, it did not work at all. So I'm coming out on the stage thinking nothing's going to happen. And then we build up and we throw the dart. Not only did I get a bullseye, it was like the most perfect bullseye we'd ever had. That's how it goes. You know, when things go perfectly in rehearsal, you know you have a problem. <laughs> when a rehearsal is a disaster, it tends to be good. You love science, right, Jimmy? My science career started with fart spray, and it ended there, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit of silly putty. I don't yeah. know. Does that count as science? That counts. When you take the silly putty ball and you put it on the newspaper, and you peel it back, and That's then right. you can stretch out the president's face. Silly putty, of course, as we know, is a non-Newtonian fluid. You of say course. that all the time. Yeah, it's yeah. totally non-Newtonian. All right, well, I think with that, it's time just to get right to the science. It's let's over there? Yeah, let's see what we got oh, over here. Oh, look, it is science over there. All right. Wow. Have you ever had a thousand candles on your show? Probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I was trying to one-up. Probably with Science Bob or something yeah. like that. Yeah. All right, well, let's get our campers over here. Campers. We got Frankie, we got Michael, and we got Billy. Do you want to help me out with something here right out of the gate, Billy? Frankie, why don't you come out too? I'll keep an eye on Michael. Yeah, no funny business for Michael. It's important that you hold this and don't let go, okay? And Frank, you hold that. And on the count of three, I want you guys to let them go. Now, normally with the balloon, if you let it go, what happens, Billy? Pop. Maybe for you, that's true. <laughs> Does it generally go up or down? Kind of depends, right? Up or down. Let's see. Let's run an experiment. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Whoa. Okay. One went up and one went down. Why do you think that might have happened? Maybe one's filled with like helium or something. Oh yeah, so maybe they're not filled with the same stuff, right? If you blow a balloon up, it looks like this, right? I've got another one here. What do you notice about this balloon? That one's bigger than that one. It's a little bigger. So I'm gonna throw these out. One, two, three. Whoa, it's a lead balloon. What'd you see, Michael? What happened? That one went straight down. Isn't it weird to see a balloon that looks like this? It's almost like a rubber ball. Today, we're talking all about gas. You can't see it, but some gas is heavier than other gas. I've got two balloons here. Jimmy, Yeah. I'm gonna give you one of these. All right. And I'm gonna have the other. This one has a lighter gas. Jimmy's holding one that has a heavier gas. Billy, what do you think's gonna happen when I suck mine in? Voice change. That's an interesting hypothesis. Okay, now very importantly, if you're watching at home, we are trained professionals. You should only do this under adult supervision. Okay, here I go, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Did it change anything? How's that sound, Billy? <laughs> what do you think of that? Is that funny? I'm like, tickle me Elmo. <laughs> now it's Jimmy's turn. I bet you nothing will happen at all. Here we go. You think? Here you go. My voice sounds normal again, right? No. What did you guys notice? What happened? Your voice got higher. And my voice got deeper. higher. And my voice got lower. And it's still kind of low, yeah, actually, it is. isn't it? It may never come back. Who do you think had the heavier gas, me or Jimmy? Roll, roll, roll your boat, take me down the street. <laughs> All right, so we have a fish tank here. Nothing in here, right? In fact, if I've got this little tissue paper boat and I let go, what do you think will happen? That sinks like a rock, right? I've got some bubbles here. 
just goes to the bottom, right? We're gonna take this gas and we're gonna fill it. And again, you're not gonna see it, right? But it's still a fluid. Gas is a fluid? Gas is a fluid, which is such an interesting way to think about it. I didn't know that. You'll see this in a minute. We're filling this up and it looks like nothing's happening, right? Yeah. Let's make an observation on what happens. Oh. Okay. What's happening? It's floating. Look at that. So what's happening is these bubbles aren't very dense, but that gas is so heavy, it's kind of making an ocean of the heavy gas and you can't see it, but the bubbles are just kind of floating on it, right? See how they're kind of bobbing? Like an ocean of this heavy gas. Now we're gonna try something really wild. We're gonna take the same boat and we'll see what happens. Oh, wow. Oh my. Magic. Is that like magic? That. Oh my God. What do you guys think is happening? All the air is pushing it up. That's right, that heavy gas. And if I put bubbles in again, see how it's like right here? It's just bouncing on the top. The heavier gas is down there. And watch this. I can even push this boat over. I'm gonna feel that, look at that. Even as I put this in, see how the boat goes up? Just like how it's liquid. I'm displacing that. Now I'm gonna fill it, see how it went down? Cause it all poured into this bucket. Now I'm gonna pull it out and it's gonna go down even further. Now this is filled with heavy gas. I'm gonna pour it on these candles. Wow. Is that not cool? Oh my gosh. Isn't that bonkers? That is cool. Just because you can't see a gas doesn't mean it's not there. So we're gonna do another experiment. You guys see how we put out those two candles? You think I can put out all of those candles? Yes. Should we try? It's yeah. worth a shot. I like that attitude. So I'm gonna fill this up again. It's the same gas. Yep, I think it's working. This is pretty good. I'm very carefully walking over. It feels like this is make-believe, but this is really doing a thing. It does feel like it's fake. Doesn't it, it, it feel it's like... It's like you're a mime who uses props. Okay, you ready? Yeah. You guys want to see me put yeah. these candles yeah. out? Here we yeah. go, Billy. Oh Happy my birthday yeah. to you. <laughs> Next time you have a birthday, consider getting some heavy gas to blow out all the candles. That's a, a real time saver. <laughs> real time saver. You know how long it would take? This is like 100 candles. Isn't when I'm 100, incredible? this is how I'm doing it. That's really, really crazy. Yeah. Isn't cool. it kind of wild? But I don't feel like that's a mega experiment. You guys want to see a mega experiment? No, yeah. I think that was enough. Okay. I think we saw something really cool there <laughs> and nothing could ever possibly top it. So we're going to take off. You guys want to take off or do you want to see it? You want to stick with Jimmy or me? Come over here. I want to show you something. All right. So you ever seen one of these? No. Okay. Stand right there, Billy. <laughs> Frankie, Michael. Is that kind of fun? Yeah. But what we've got here is a mega size version. Wow. Oh my God. But here's the thing. It needs a name. Uh, Gerald. Yeah, that's Gerald. a pretty good name, Gerald. Gerald. Yeah. Okay, Gerald it is. So just like we do this, right? You feel that poof? You want to see what happens with Gerald? Yeah. yeah. Mm. What do you think the difference might be? It'll probably blow you away. <laughs> okay, you guys stand right here. We're going to do a little William Tell action, all right? Okay, we'll see if this works. Oh my God. Three, two, one. <laughs> you think we can do it from all the way back here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ready? I'm pulling it. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> so just like before, even though you can't see it, the fluid and the gas is still there. What do you think we could do to make it so we can see it? Ooh. What if we add some smoke? Can you see smoke? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Everybody could see let's smoke. Let's try that. Let's turn Gerald into a dragon. All right, here we go. Okay, let's see if we can see it in the air, guys. What? Wow. Whoa, it like, there are rings. Oh my gosh. Here, you guys, come over here. Oh. Ready, Marco. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Was that cool? It made it all the way here. What do you guys say we go back even further? You think yeah. you can hit us? Yeah. Let's do it more. I feel like yeah. we just had an experience with a poltergeist. All right, we're ready. Gerald, yeah, do it. Here it comes. Wow! <laughs> wow! Let's go back further! Come on, Gerald, I believe in you. I believe you. <laughs> Here it comes. Here it comes. Okay. Here it comes. Hey! Yeah. Billy, get back Billy. here! Billy! Run, <laughs> 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 oh, Billy! Run! Oh, Gerald's coming! The other way! <laughs> Okay, all right, let's go back.
time for the picnic table. Wow, that was cool, huh? Was that cool? Was that mega enough? Yeah! yeah. Thanks so much for joining us, Michael, Frankie, Billy. It's way past your bedtime. Get back to camp. Back in your tents. Get the heck out of here. Good night. Jimmy, it was a pleasure as always. That was fun. I feel like you need to get back to a certain situation. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I do, yeah. Get the heck really out of dangerous. here. Dangerous. All right. Well, that was our mega experiment for today. But now it's time for my favorite part, which is to review last week's super challenge submissions. And as you recall, the challenge for last week was just to make the most epic house of cards. So let's take a look and see what we got. so great. I was really impressed by not only the size, but the complexity of these houses of cards, in addition to the creative destructions. Nice. Now you gotta knock it down. What? I just finished filling! Look at this pretty tower! It would be fun to knock it down, wouldn't it? Where did I put my card houses? What the heck? Hello, I'm Mark Robert. Ah, oh, cockroach! Oh, that was a close one. Oh! I have to get to crunch jobs really fast. GPS says go straight. Ooh, maybe it said go right. Good thing I'm such a good driver. Insurance will cover that. Look at my seven story card house. Seven stories. And there's four none. Breaking news Squirrelzilla has been spotted off the coast of Carterville. Holy crunch labs, Batman. That thing's huge. Toward it's on a platform. Uh oh. Getting more fragile. There is a tornado about to destroy the lodge. It's demo time. incredibly hard to make a decision, but I think when it comes down to it, these four are my favorites. So if one of those was yours, be checking your mailbox for one of these official signed Camp Crunch Labs patches, and if you get one, that means you're now eligible to be coming out here for the official Platinum Ticket episode. It's the 12th episode, and it's gonna be bonkers. All right, so now for this week's Super Challenge, your assignment is to make a marble roller coaster. And that's kind of like a Rube Goldberg, but it's more like you have a marble, you want it to travel as far as possible. So it can go down your stairs, maybe you have a cardboard track for it, maybe a little PVC pipe. Just see if you can make a marble travel like a roller coaster as far as you possibly can. Now, as always, you want to get your parents' permission and be safe with anything you do. But once you've built it and it looks amazing, film it, then work with your parents to post it online. Tag us at Crunch Labs. Use the hashtag Camp Crunch Labs Contest. That will make sure that it's official and I'll see it. It gives you the chance win this official platinum ticket to come out here for episode 12. All right, campers, that's it for this week. So get to work on your super challenges, put your build box together, and then I'll see you next week. Right here at Camp Crunch Labs. Woo!